All right, guys, I just got some disturbing intelligence on Nicado Avocado. This is a guy who does massive mukbangs. You see him in his thumbnails, absolutely crying his eyes out with the massive plate of food in front of him. Like, maybe enough food for 10 or 20 people to eat. It blows my mind. Probably blows up the toilet afterwards, too. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is the absolutely disturbing and degrading things that he talked about in one of his recent videos. As all of you know, Kobe Bryant and his daughter tragically passed away recently from a helicopter crash. Kobe was famously known for flying helicopters everywhere in LA to avoid traffic, to avoid the LA traffic. And it also, as he said in an interview, allowed him to see his children uh, more often and be with them one-on-one, -on -one, somehow. So what Nick Hado Avocado did in his latest video as a publicity stunt, which is absolutely pathetic, he brings up the helicopter crash and how somebody famous in the NBA died recently and his daughter. And he claims he can't remember his name. He's laughing, he's smirking while he's saying this stuff. He's guessing the name to be Kathy, which is a female's name. He knows that's not the name. He's guessing the name to have a K and a B in it and have four letters. Well, he knows, he, gosh darn it, he knows exactly what his name is. He's not stupid. He doesn't have the brain the size of a worm. He wasn't born yesterday. Very, very recent news. He knows exactly what his name was. Nakato, if you want to lie to your audience, you best think of a much better plan because it's obvious you haven't foiled or fooled anybody at all. He must have guessed 10 times as a joke, which is not a funny joke at all. People are very upset about it on Twitter and other social medias. He pretends as if he's trying his hardest to think of the name, but just can't think of it. Makes many more guesses. Kenneth, Kurt. He's thinking of possible black names that start with a K. Extremely offensive. People have been unsubscribing from him for this, which I completely understand. Kobe was an extremely loved legend in sports and in basketball. He died an incredibly tragic death, a horrific death that nobody would ever want to occur to themselves or any family member. He, him and his daughter, they perished, most likely from smoke inhalation, if not from the actual impact itself, along with seven other passengers, nine people total, due to incredibly thick fog when there should have been systems built into the aircraft that reminded the the pilot to, to 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 not descend but go up and avoid the hill that they crashed into 176 miles per hour and there should have been a, a, a fireproof gas tank built in as well and I certainly hope that, that new laws come into play because of this. But uh, I just wanted to keep you guys up to date. This is some incredible, incredibly disturbing news about Nicado Avocado that he'd go to this extent. I realize he's been, he's been known for lies relating to breakups with his boyfriend, relating to manipulating Stephanie Sue and other big YouTubers. And it's just gone too far this time, so I had to speak up. So I'll keep you guys up to date. Thank you for watching.